everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I'm back at it this Friday morning to finish this yard up. I'm going to cut a little swale down from where I stopped up there at the matting down to here uh, just so that all this water can come and kind of drain down to the property line. This is two properties right here and drain down here to the pond um, and keep from washing out. So I'm going to come up here with a mini, kind of roughly cut that in, then I can dress it up with this kid's deer and make it look nice and pretty. Uh, we'll go ahead and seed and straw the yard. He's going to work on kind of getting that uh, watered in. And I'm going to come down here. There's some erosion around the pond. Uh, i got to dig out some sediment that washed in and fix a couple ditches uh, to kind of help stabilize that and put in some permanent matting. Time to put out straw. Got everything seeded and matting put down. Time to cover it up make it look pretty. Ditch turned out nice. Got that graded out. Everything's seeded. Now I'm taking and blowing straw across the yard and all the way around. Make a circle around the house.
put out. Time to finish the swell down here to the pond and work on a couple more ditches. So everything's held up pretty good on the pond except for this corner right here. There's so much runoff from all the way up there. It just keeps washing and all this dirt is just so sandy and it won't grow anything. It looks like good topsoil but it just nothing seems to really want to grow in it too good. At least the fescue he put out. So I'm going to try to regrade a ditch kind of I don't know maybe on this side to rip wrap try to stay out of that that uh, has washed out I got to dig all that out of the pond and I got some permanent matting I'm gonna grade a swale through here and and try to run that and get that runoff kind of all directed into that and hopefully that'll kind of hold grade and hopefully keep it established that's the plan at least I just don't know why this this dirt won't grow any good grass. But I'll probably do one right here. Might have to do another one right over there to catch that run off there as well.
All right, so I got a little soil cut through there now and everything else kind of graded and backfilled. I'll run a strip of matting through there. Now what I'm going to try to do is get another little swell cut right through here and I'll fill that one in and I think I can redirect the water that was flowing around and washing that one out and I'll do a little piece of matting right here to kind of help this transition but I need to dig the mud out of the pond right now. Sand.
everything's done. You got matting all the way down, permanent matting starting right here, going all the way down to the swale. It's got concrete in it, and uh, that over there graded out. A couple swales matting over there. Let all this get grown in and established. We may start grading a little bit more out. So let's take a look at everything I did out here. So I ended up cutting a swale all the way around the house that was washing real bad, all the runoff. Coming down here and washing a big ditch out all the way to the pond. So I ran a permanent matting from right here back to the pond. That's where it catches the most amount of water. Uh, regraded the whole backyard, septic field area. Got a swale to divert all the water away from the septic field. Uh, this is a, a Excelsior matting. It'll last about two years grass grows up through that there's still a netting in there that will always stay but that fiber will rot out the green stuff is um, a permanent matting it will never rot out it'll always stay green and always be there so graded around the house got all that graded out seeded strawed matting right through here and around uh, he's been out here watering it just to kind of help this stuff get a head start on growing So it swells pretty flat right here, but it does drain away from the house down into the front right here. Uh, normally you don't put straw on this, but uh, I was blowing it and it got covered up. Sidewalk. The brick is supposed to look like that. It's supposed to add like a, I don't know, old character to it, I guess. I don't know. It's what the neighbors have too. So uh, pretty much backfilled the sidewalk, flower bed, all the way down and around. New swale comes through here. Any of this runoff will be brought down here. That's where I put in the drain. Uh, driveway's poured now, so that was going to act as a dam, so I put a little drain there. If it ever gets backed up, it'll just flow around the end of the driveway. I took some stone, probably later on I'll come back and put some gravel on here once all this is settled in, backfill the driveway. And the rest of the topsoil will come up through here, backfilled. All of this got a pretty gentle slope coming off of the house down here. I'll walk down here to the pond. So this is the pond that somebody else got started on, made a mess, and did about a quarter of what he wanted done. So they ended up, all the gutter downspouts, the homeowner did it himself, but they uh, ran them all down through here and piped them all the way to the pond. So we're having some pretty bad washes down here as well. There's just so much runoff that comes down here. So I uh, put a permanent ditch right here. Tried to do a little diversion swale right there. Just trying to catch all this water and run it to the pond. This dirt's like hard as a brick, but when it gets wet, it's so sandy. It's, it's the darndest thing you've ever seen. Like I couldn't even pound those stakes in the ground with the sledgehammer. That's how hard it is, but when it rains, it just liquefies into like a beach sand so we're gonna leave all this alone for now let all that get stabilized I try to do a couple ditches just to kind of slow down the erosion probably come back in the springtime and regrade all this out once all these ditches are established it can kind of hold the water a little bit better and uh, there's a few washes I just kind of smeared the mud out and it'll hold it throughout the winter but this is about the worst spot right here um, this is where I had to take all that dirt and fill all this in and we've got a new spring over here now, so we'll probably end up running the pipe from there to the pond. But all in all, it, the pond's held up really well. It's got an astronomical amount of groundwater that flows into it. You would not think it has not rained in two and a half weeks, and wait till I get down here. You'll see how much water is flowing into there. So this, this is actually established pretty decent. Uh, it won't wash anymore. Um, he wants it obviously better than this, but this will hold it throughout the winter. 
and it shouldn't erode anymore. But it's a nice pond overlooking the house. I told him if he ever wanted it to make it bigger, we could cut this whole section out right here and bring all that dirt down here and perhaps possibly raise this pond dam up a couple more feet and and back the water up a little bit higher and you know add another 30 40 feet of pond if he ever had the desire to that's all the straw mess that when i strawed that up there it blew into the pond but so it has not rained in two and a half weeks there's no creek no nothing it's just a hole dug down here at the bottom of the hill that's how much groundwater and spring water it comes out of the ground that is amazing i was a little leery that this pond would not stay full just from i mean all the runoff is just that little area up there but there is so much groundwater that comes out from somewhere he said when they got that big rain about three weeks ago it uh the pipe was slammed full gushing out i mean look at that that's like two water hose worth of water coming out just spring water but we had like five or six inches of rain that couple weeks two and a half weeks ago and he said it was slam full spillway was full and it was still kind of sheet draining across the side of that dam right there that is impressive but this right here seemed like this held up pretty good he said it was coming through here you know the whole width of the spillway flowing across and i just had it where it just kind of gently went out through the woods But it turned out to be a nice little pond. And uh, his dad made a homemade fountain. He cut it on yesterday. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn it on. I think if he can all get it like this and a little more stabilized, he'll be happy. I think there's a drop cord you plug in. Must be the switch. <laughs> got my little fountain out there. So he's got some lights on it too. You can see at night. I told him the best thing I can do is probably grade that out and put sod down. Keep that right there from washing. The stuff's just like concrete, I swear. But there it is. Just wanted to do a little overview of the pond while I was out here walking around. Time to load up and go to another job.